Okay, now we talk about blockchain, what is it uh, and uh, I just said. What is blockchain? A blockchain is a distributed to the tables uh, that is shared among the nodes of a computer network. As uh, the device, uh, blockchain stores information electronically in digital format. Blockchains are best known for their critical role in cryptocurrency systems such as Bitcoin uh, for maintaining a secure and decentralized record of transaction. The innovation with the blockchain is that it guarantees the fidelity and security of a record of uh, data and generates trust without the need for a trust third party. It's very interesting, uh, really. One key difference between a typical database and uh, blockchain is how the data is structured. A blockchain collects information together in groups uh, known as blocks. That whole set of information. Uh, blocks have care team storage capacities, and when filled, are closed and linked to the previously filed block, uh, forming a chain of uh, data known as the blockchain. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all new information that follows that freshly added block is completed into a newly formed block that will then also be added to the chain once filled. Uh, a database usually structures its data into tables where its blockchain, like its name in place, structures its uh, data into chunks, blocks. Uh, that are strung together. Uh, this data structure inherently makes an irreversible timeline of data when uh, implemented in a decent, uh, decentralized nature. When a block is filled, it uh, is set a stone and becomes a part of this timeline. Each block is the chain is given a exact timestamp when it is uh, added to the chain. Uh, okay, uh, now I uh, talk you about key ta takeaways. It's very important things in this, uh, uh, in this video. Uh, first is blockchain is a type of shared database uh, that and differs from a typical database in the way that it stores information. Blockchain store data in blocks uh, that are then linked together via cryptography. Uh, okay. Uh, second is uh, as new data comes uh, in, it is entered into a fresh block. Once the block is filled with data. It is chained uh, onto the previous block, which makes the data chain together in a chronological order. Uh, third is a uh, very, very important one of the important things in this paragraph. Uh, uh, now I tell you. Uh, different types of information can be stored on the blockchain, but the most Common use of work has been as a later for transactions. Uh, okay, next. In Bitcoin's case, blockchain is used uh, in a uh, decentralized way so that no single person or group has control, rather, all users uh, collectively retain control. And the last uh, is uh, the centralized blockchains are immutable, which means that the data entered is irreversible. Bitcoin, it means that uh, transactions are permanently recorded and viewable to anyone. Uh, and 
the next question is how does a blockchain work? Really, how it works? Okay, uh, now I tell you about this. Uh, the goal of blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and distributed but uh, not edited. In this way, a blockchain is a foundation for immutable ledgers or records or transactions in that can be altered, deleted or destroyed. This is why blockchains are also known as a distributed ledger technology uh, or else it's DLT. I uh, first proposed as a research uh, project in 1991. The blockchain concept uh, predated its first uh, widespread application in use, Bitcoin in uh, 2009. Uh, in this year, since the use of blockchain has exploded via the creation of various cryptocurrencies, uh, decentralized uh, finance or uh, uh, DeFi, application, non-fungible tokens, NPTS and smart uh, contracts. Uh, okay, next is uh, blockchain and decentralization. Imagine that the company owns a server farm with uh, 10,000 computers used to mounting a database holding all of these clients' account information. Uh, this company owns a warehouse building that contains all of these computers under one roof and has full control of each of these computers and all the information contained within them. This, however, provides a single point of failure. Um, what happens if the electricity at the location goes out? Interesting, yeah? Uh, what if is uh, internet connection is served? What if it falls to the ground? What if a bad actor areas everything with a single keystroke? In any case, the data is lost or uh, corrupted. Um, what the blockchain does is to allow the data held in the database um, uh, to be spread out among several network nodes at various locations. This uh, not only creates uh, redundancy but also maintains the uh, fidelity of the data stored to same. If somebody tries uh, to alter a record at one instance of uh, the database, the other nodes would uh, not be altered and thus would prevent bad actor from doing so. Uh, if one user terms with Bitcoin's record of transactions, all other nodes would cross reference each other and easily pinpoint the node with the incurrent information. The system helps to establish an exact and transparent order of events. This way, no single node within the network can alter information held with it. And because uh, of this uh, information and history, uh, such as of transactions for, uh, or uh, of a uh, cryptocurrency, are irreversible. Such a record could be a list of uh, transactions, such as with uh, cryptocurrency, but it's also possible for a blockchain to hold. Uh, a variety of other information like legal contracts, uh, state identification or a company's product inventory. Uh, very important things uh, uh, I tell you. Uh, to update new entries or records to a block, a majority of the decentralized networks computing power would need to agree to it. 
to prevent bad actors from uh, well getting uh, bad transactions of or uh, double spans and blockchains are secured by uh, concerns uh, mechanisms such as uh, proof of work POV or proof of stake POC. This mechanism uh, allows for agreement even when no single node uh, is in charge. Uh, it's all for today. Uh, thank you for your attention. Bye bye.